Hi guys, welcome to Vedant Education. Here I have uh, one more question for you from uh, GATE 2017 Electronics and Communication paper. Before uh, I get into the problem, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more such uh, problems and solutions. So here is the question, an optical fiber is kept along the z direction, the refractive indices for the electric fields along x and y directions in the fiber are nx equal to 1.5 and ny equal to 1.5001 respectively. The free space wavelength of the light wave uh, propagating in the fiber is 1.5 micron. If the light wave is circularly polarized at the input of the fiber, the minimum propagation distance after which it becomes linearly polarized in centimeters is. This question is for uh, two marks and it is quite an uh, interesting question. So the wave is uh, circularly polarized that meaning that there are two electric field components of equal uh, magnitude and they are propagating along the z direction and we have to find at what minimum distance it can become a linearly polari polarized. For the linear polarization to occur these electric fields let us just say that they are x and y x and y along the x and y direct uh, axis. Electric fields along x and y have to shift by uh, 90 degrees for them to become linearly polarized. So the y vector or the x vector have to shift by uh, 90 degrees that is pi by 2 in radians for this uh, wave to be linearly polar polarized. In that case the electric fields have to acquire a phase difference of pi by 2 and the phase of a wave is given as beta z where z is the propagation direction and beta is the propagation constant. So the propagation constant beta is given by beta equal to 2 pi by lambda and z is the distance over which it travels. So in this case let us say at a distance of L that is at a distance of z equal to L. So let us say at the distance at a distance of z equal to L there is a change in the uh, phase by pi by 2 at z equal to L the phase changes by pi by 2 that is since the refractive index in this optical fiber are different along the x and y, the y axis, uh, different uh, uh, electric uh, field components will uh, gain different uh, phase values as they propagate along the fiber and this leads to phase change. So the phase change, let us say at a distance of uh, L, there is a phase change of pi by 2 as we said before, that means beta x l minus beta y l is equal to pi by 2. We know that that uh, beta x is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 pi by lambda x and beta y is equal to 2 pi by lambda y or we can also say that it is 2 pi by lambda which is given in the question uh, by n x and uh, beta y is equal to 2 pi by lambda by n y. So we plug in plug these uh, values into this uh, equation here. So it becomes uh, 2 pi n x by lambda minus 2 pi by 2 pi n y by lambda is equal to pi by 2. So this is there is a L here so L into is equal to pi by 2. After solving this uh, we can solve this uh, by plugging in lambda equal to 1.5 micron micrometer and we get a value of L is equal to 0.37 centimeter. So at a uh, distance of 0.37 centimeters, these uh, uh, this circularly polarized wave becomes a linearly polarized wave. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check out the other videos and books I recommend 
in the section below.